everybody. This is Andrew from Andronica.com, and I'm here with Fulton Innovation. They're showing us a couple of new products that they're doing. Uh, they're partnering with manufacturers to release battery life improvements. So they're going to explain that to us now. Okay. Well, we're going to show you the first example. HTC today announced a phone, or their new back for their um, Thunderbolt phone. And this is for Verizon, and this enables wireless charging. Okay. The other thing that we heard on today was LG announced a pad for Verizon also that's Qi compliant. And this enables wireless charging that's interoperable. So when I put my HTC phone down, I'm going to be able to charge that on any surface that has the Qi, Qi certification. LG has their own phone coming out. And this one's not released yet. Again, Qi compliant for Verizon for their new LT network. Okay. And again, completely interoperable with the same charging surface. So no matter where we go, as long as we have a Qi surface, we can charge our devices. Okay. So if I have my, my Thunderbolt and my wife has the LG phone, she can just throw it down and it doesn't matter who's charging what? Absolutely. We can have a third multi-place charger. This is an example of that. But what we see happening now is I can have charging device in any number of devices. It might be my MP3 player, might be my Bluetooth headset. Okay. So now I can charge all of those devices in a single way and know that I can charge them with the Qi, the Qi interface. All right. What's the difference between this and some of the other mat solutions that are out there? So the biggest thing for us is from our standpoint is what we're a leader in the technology world is working with a group of companies in the consortium, about 80 some companies now, to develop a global standard. Bluetooth is very well adopted now because it's a single source. We expect wireless power to have the same impact because I want interoperability. I want to know when I go to Europe next week and it's got the cheat that I can put my phone down and have it charged. Okay. How much does it cost in difference to, to get a product like that? That's all up to the OEMs. We see it having a little bit of price difference, but not significant. And as, as adoption goes up and use goes up, the cost of all electric components comes way down. Okay. So this is something in the future we could definitely, if it becomes mass adopted, it's going to be even more affordable. But considering Android's bad battery life, I have a feeling that a lot of you guys are going to be interested in this. And this is from the Wireless Power Consortium. Can you name Companies besides HTC and uh, LG that are participating in this? In that consortium? Uh, yeah, like um, phone manufacturers themselves. Sure, you've got Nokia who's in there, you've got uh, Motorola now, Samsung, LG, HTC, you've got Sony Ericsson as an associate member. So all of these players are involved okay. in the consortium. And uh, most of those names, with the exception of Nokia, of course, make Android phones. Yes. Okay. Uh, is this a part of the charging, or is this just holding it? This, this, again, these are two prototypes. What we okay. want to do is show people can innovate around this technology and do whatever they want. This is a three-place charger. This is kind of like some decorative piece that you might have on your nightstand or on your dresser yeah. where you put your keys, and we just enabled it so you can charge your devices on it. I'd love to put this on my desk, it would blend right in with the wood. <laughs> and that's what we see happening. We're also working with partners who can incorporate it into work surfaces so you don't even know it's there. Okay. These things are steroids. All right, this is Andrew from Adronica.com. Thanks for watching, and thank you to Fulton Innovation and the Wireless Power.